You know him as an actor and a comedian, but now Tom Arnold is taking cameras inside his own very dark childhood. In a brand new documentary series on Discovery Plus, Tom and his sister Lori detail their past, which includes Lori's nationwide drug trafficking business. She went to prison twice, but in the height of it all, she was known as the queen of meth. Even though it was 30 years ago, I'll always be remembered as the queen of meth. We have actor and comedian Tom Arnold joining us about a topic that's not funny. It's his sister's story. It's called Queen of Meth, and it's now on Discovery+. Plus. Tom, what was it like watching all of this unfold? You know, I'm grateful that she's on the other end of all this. Uh, you know, the way we grew up, um, you know, we grew up in a rough uh, town. First time I took speed, I was 14, and it was with my mom. You know, I knew our mother was not a mother. You know, she was alcoholic, married seven times in our small town. Can you imagine how much uh, people make fun of you? Uh, uh, and, and, but I knew that. My sister worshipped her. One night they went out and, and they met a guy that was 23. Uh, and, and my mom ended up driving Lori to Missouri. She's 14 years old to marry a serial pedophile who beat her. And that was really the end of Lori's Maybe not life, but certainly her innocence. Born and loneliness. When you do the drug, all that disappears. And by then, she started making meth, uh, dealing with the Mexican cartel, and buying 55 gallon drums or whatever. Had a, buried a, a, a lab on her farm. And uh, it was just, there was no way out of this except death or prison. And my sister got lucky because she got prisoned. The first time I tried it, I'm like, well, it's pretty good. So I want my friends to share it with me. It wasn't like I want to go get everybody addicted and ruin their lives. Your sister's decision to manufacture and distribute meth didn't just affect your small town. The spider webbed across the country. Does she understand what this has done to families and the lives that are lost because of her choices? ATF, FBI, OPD. I'm like, where's ACDC? Perhaps she didn't realize that these things could happen when she was in the middle of it and you know there's no there's no excuse but you know she was an addict and i'm very proud of who she is today i'm very proud of that she owns uh, owns what happened that she's willing to go back and face the consequences and and she paid her time and so i am i love her and i'm very proud of her tom you mentioned that this documentary has provided healing for your family but what do you hope the message is that the viewer walks away with it's entertaining you know, I'm grateful that DEA, the main DEA guy, is a part of it because he, he breaks down all the crime. Uh, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of humanity in it. All, it, all I see uh, this is I need to be the best parent I can be. I have a five-year-old daughter and an eight-year-old son. I'm a single dad. I, every day I need to be sober and present because I could be that person. I could be our mother. And I just can't do that to our children. And so it's a good reminder of how also I used to be.